revision of structural identification for identifying structure of any molecule from given molecular formula or molecular weight following steps are used in sequential order first calculation of degree of unsaturation which is also called as du second hydrogenation third monohalogenation and last ozonolysis each step has its own importance so combination of all the steps give a clear cut idea of the original molecule first i am discussing about the degree of unsaturation it is the total number of hydrogen deficiency index from any acyclic saturated hydrocarbon it is important that du, du is calculated from the removal of hydrogen from any acyclic saturated hydrocarbon it is also called as double bond equivalent that is dbu mathematically du is equal to double the number of carbon plus 2 minus hydrogen minus halogen plus nitrogen divided by 2 if the value of du comes to 0 compound have no ring or no multiple bond but if value of du is 1 compound have one ring or one multiple bond of any form this multiple bond may be of carbon carbon may be of carbon nitrogen may be of carbon oxygen may be of carbon sulfur may be of nitrogen oxygen or any multiple bond containing one pi bond if the du is 2 that compound have one triple bond two rings two double bond or one ring and one double bond of any form if it is triple bond then carbon carbon triple bond may be present carbon nitrogen triple bond may be present if two rings rings may be of carbocyclic or heterocyclic if two double bonds are present that they may be of carbon carbon combination of carbon nitrogen or combination of carbon sulfur or any one one ring and one double bond du does not tell about the nature of the multiple bond or ring that is multiple bond or ring may be anywhere or in any form in the compound second hydrogenation addition of hydrogen molecule to an unsaturated compound in the presence of nickel palladium or platinum is called as hydrogenation generally nickel palladium or platinum are used for hydrogenation because these metals has property to adsorb hydrogen more easily it is used to find out number of pi bonds present in the compound if any unknown compound on hydrogenation do not take hydrogen then it will always be a saturated molecule of any form that is no hydrogen is added it means no hydrogen is removed from any acyclic saturated hydrocarbon so no addition of hydrogen occur if any unknown compound on hydrogenation takes two hydrogen atoms then it will have one pi bond of any form i have already told maybe of carbon carbon maybe of carbon hydrogen or carbon oxygen similarly if compound on hydrogenation takes four atom hydrogen atom then it will have two pi bonds of any form that is maybe of triple bond or maybe of two double bond all type of multiple bonds that is double triple polyenes polyenes are converted into single composition that is all the unsaturated part can be converted into saturated part on hydrogenation aromatic pi bonds are stable at room temperature so requires high temperature for hydrogenation that is benzene does not undergoes hydrogenation at room temperature but benzene undergo hydrogenation at high temperature all positional isomers of the multiple bond give same product on hydrogenation because if you take the help of but1 e but1 e on hydrogenation give butene and similarly but2 e also on hydrogenation give same butene so positional isomer cannot be distinguished with the help of hydrogenation it is used to find out the skeleton of carbon this is the main point that is hydrogenation is used to find out the skeleton of carbon that is if any compound like c4h8 on hydrogenation give c4h10 which is butene that the main skeleton of carbon may be will be a straight chain and position of double bond may be at 1 or may be at 2 this is also used to distinguish cyclic and acyclic compound if a compound c4h8 on hydrogenation give c4h10 
it means one hydrogen molecule is added to the system it means c for s8 will surely have one multiple bond but if c for s8 on hydrogenation give no reaction it will surely be of the cyclic form maybe of cyclobutene or one methyl cyclobutane third monohalogenation replacement of one hydrogen of alkene or cycloalkenes with halogen in presence of light is called as monohalogenation monohalogenation is a chemical method to find out chemically different hydrogen in any alkene or cycloalkenes to find out chemically different hydrogen always look for the carbon on which hydrogen is attached take the example of pentane second carbon of pentane has two hydrogen one methyl and one ethyl group but the third carbon of pentene has two hydrogen and two ethyl group so second hydrogen of second position and hydrogen of third position are chemically different it is a protein with pentane if arrangement of groups or atoms are different over carbon then hydrogenation are all, then hydro, hydrogens are also chemically different the question is asked to find out the total number of monochloro product from any alkene or cycloalkenes then follow the following sequence first you have to draw all the structural isomers then make all possible geometrical isomers and lastly use the concept of optical if a question is asked to find out all the possible structures of cyclic saturated compounds which have molecular formula c5h10 so first make a five membered ring then four membered ring then three membered ring with different substitution substituents in the form of methyl or ethyl these are the structural isomers then think for the geometrical whether cis trans is possible or not and then think for the optical whether molecule have plane of symmetry or center of symmetry if molecule have plane of symmetry and center of symmetry or any one of them then that one is meso and if compound do not have any symmetry then it will be optically active and it has two isomer that is d and l to find out total number of fractions obtained from product look for enantiomers and diastereomers enantiomers have one fraction because they are non superimposable but mirror images while diastereomers and structural isomers are different molecules they have different physical properties so they have different melting point boiling points so they give two fractions on fractional distillation and last is the ozonolysis treatment of ozone over alkene or alkyne is called as ozonolysis ozonolysis is a method to find out position of carbon carbon double or carbon carbon triple bond in a molecule ozonolysis is of two type first reductive ozonolysis and second is the oxidative ozonolysis in reductive ozonolysis reaction first ozone is given and in second step zinc and dimethyl sulfide or water acetic acid is used but in case of oxidative ozonolysis reaction ozone followed by treatment of water or H2O2 no zinc is added into this particular container to find out to distinguish reductive and ozonolysis look for the presence of zinc in oxidative ozonolysis process all the carbon carbon double and carbon carbon triple bond are broken to form carbonyl compounds and other atom or groups remain same that is ozonolysis is only used to distinguish the position of carbon carbon double and triple bond that is carbon carbon double and triple triple bonds are broken by this process oxidative ozonolysis is simply one more time oxidation of oxidation of the carbon hydrogen bond to give coh that means o is inserted into carbon hydrogen bond forming carboxylic acid if same carbon have two oh group then remove a molecule of water take the example of ethene ethene on reductive ozonolysis give two molecule of formaldehyde but when question is asked how many products are obtained on ozonolysis of ethene then product of ethene is only formaldehyde and formaldehyde is one molecule when question is asked total number of moles obtained then answer is two moles of formaldehyde but when question is asked total number of products obtained that means formaldehyde is only one so only one product is obtained in case of alkynes reductive ozonolysis give right rise to dicarbonyl compounds 
but in case of oxidative ozonolysis, alkynes give rise to carboxylic acid. If same carbon has hydrogen, then hydrogen along with R in case of alkene, then it on reductive ozonolysis give alkene, uh, give aldehyde, but in case of oxidative ozonolysis, aldehyde is further oxidized to give carboxylic acid. On the basis of these four parts, one can distinguish, one can identify the structure of any unknown compound. Take the example that if a molecule C4H8 which on hydrogenation give C4H10, it indicates that C4H8 has DU1. When it undergoes hydrogenation, it will give C4H10 and C4H10 on monoclonation give only one, give two products.